Hi, I'm Erica, AccuQuilt Corporate Marketing Specialist, and I'm here to show you how to use the free downloadable embroidery for our Go Flamingo die. Now, I love this flamingo, and I have been having so much fun coming up with projects for this die, because quite frankly, I don't think I would ever take the time to cut this shape by hand. So to get started with any of our embroidery downloads, you'll need to log into your account at AccuQuilt.com. Then download the design in the format that you need for your embroidery machine. Now I know that my machine uses a PES, but all the formats work the same. So if you don't know which format your machine uses, check your machine manual or call your machine dealer. Now I've already downloaded my design and transferred it onto a flash drive. I've got it loaded into my machine. I've got my stabilizer and background fabric in my hoop and I'm ready to go. I've even cut out my flamingo. So I've got it laid out here with all the shapes. It's so perfect. Now the fusible's already ironed onto the back of the fabric. Remember the fusible will count for half a layer. So that means you can cut up to four layers of fused fabric at a time, and that's four flamingos. So here's a little tip for you. You can make your flamingos face either direction that you want depending on how you place your fabric on the die. If you place it right side up, it's gonna face one way, right side down, it'll be the other. Just make sure that your embroidery is set up to face the same way as your flamingo. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, you'd cut this out just like any of our other dies. We've cut some in our video with our Tide Pool Pillow project, and we've got our flamingo ready to go. Now the free downloadable embroidery comes in three different formats. There's a satin stitch, a motif stitch, and a blanket stitch. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the blanket stitch today because it's really one of my favorites. Now the first thing the program's going to do is stitch out a placement stitch for your first piece so you know where to fuse that shape. Now you're gonna be working from the bottom up, so we're gonna start with the flamingo body. Once that's done, we're gonna be ready to fuse that shape into place. And you can do it on your machine, but we're gonna take it over here to the felt mat. So I'm gonna get us started here. Okay, so we're ready to go ahead and fuse on our flamingo. Now, this is a pretty good size shape. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off of my machine. And I just think that that's gonna be a little bit easier. Now, if you want to, you could fuse that on while it was in your machine, but it's trickier with the big shape. And you also wanna be really careful because you don't want to scorch or melt your sewing machine. So. I'm gonna go ahead now, pull the fusible off the back of my flamingo shape. And this is so fun. I love pulling it off. Look, even those little perfect little knobby knees. Okay. Get it pulled all the way off. Little staticky. Okay. So now I can really get this positioned perfectly. And I like using the fusible. I feel like I get a really good stable base for my embroidery machine. Look how perfect that is. And we'll get our legs down. Last little leg, perfect. Okay, now I've got my little shovel iron here. I'm gonna tack this down. I wanna make sure we've get a good base for our embroidery machine. Everything nice and secure, but you don't wanna over press. You don't wanna make it any tougher. And you need to, again, get my little foot there. Wonderful, okay. So now we're ready to go back to the machine. We're gonna go ahead, the machine's gonna go back and do the decorative stitch on top. And we're ready to go again.
Okay, now before we go on to our next placement stitch, I want to show you something. So when you look at the flamingo, you're going to see that you're missing a couple of stitches. Don't worry. Right here and over here at the beak. This is where we're going to have overlapping shapes. Now, with the blanket stitch, you wouldn't notice it as much, but say you're doing the satin stitch. If we had a satin stitch underneath the beak and then we put the beak down and did satin stitch again, you'd have a real lump there in your project. So we're going to not have those stitches underneath where another piece is going to go. So we're going to go ahead, get this on the machine, and we will get our next placement stitches down. Perfect. Okay, so now we're ready. We can go ahead. We're going to be able to fuse the rest of those pieces down. So we're going to start with our wing. Get that fusible off. Oop, more static. Okay. There we go. I'm going to fuse as I go as much static as I've got in the studio today. I don't want my pieces to go flying. There we go. And then we stitched out our beak. Okay. I think you could make some really cute projects with this. Of course, I love a good tea towel project, but you could do shirts and sweatshirts, tote bags, so many creative ideas. Okay, my paper's already off my little eyeball. There we go. And I especially want to get that eye set down so that it stays in place. Okay. Great, we're ready to go. Back on my machine. Lock it in. And here we go. Perfect. Okay, here is our finished flamingo. Just think about the time that you saved by not only having die cut this intricate shape, but your embroidery machine doing all of that applique work for you. I know you're gonna find a lot of great uses for this flamingo in all kinds of projects. So remember at AccuQuilt, we want to help you cut time so you can quilt and embroider more.